Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about a rather intriguing rock, and this is the uh, Cell Share, Black Share. It's from uh, um, an area north of the island of Alner in the uh, Baltic Sea, and it's uh, part of a carbonatite complex, the Alner carbonatite complex. It's about 580 million years old, and uh, this is a diatreme rock. It's uh, from the north of Alner, it's just offshore. And several larger boulders of this material are cropping out there. You can kind of wade to the outcrop. It's um, not very deep. And um, the full outcrop is not accessible, but some lumps stick out. And you can go there and sample this. And uh, this has been described by a chap called Van Eckermann first, uh, already in the 1930s. And uh, this rock is made of... Uh, dark and light components, and here's one of the light components. This is a carbonatite fragment, and here's one of the dark components. This is a basaltic rock. In fact, this is a melilitite, and that means it's an alkali basalt and undersaturated rock, which has melilite, which is an intriguing kind of needle-shaped yellow mineral, and often it comes together with pyroxene. The odd olivine is found in there as well. So this Basaltic rock, the alkaline basaltic rock, is the main other component here, and it comes in various sizes. So here you see a rounded basaltic fragment with some bubbles in there, and here's a larger one as well, but it also comes as tiny little lapilli. Here's one, for example, there are several down here, and some of them are rounded. So uh, here we have to imagine that some of this material flew or was blown out of the conduit, out of the diatreme, and potentially even fell back in in thin section. Several workers have described that uh, the rock has accretion or lapilli. Some of these little round chaps here, they have a coating of ash surrounding them, implying that they were flying through the air, accumulating a coat of ash, likely wet ash. So let me kind of uh, show you a little more. If I take the rock and turn it around, here's the other side of it. And I'll try to get a little closer here. So here we have another carbonatite fragment, here's another one, and here's a round, uh, roundish type of lapilli, here's a lapilli in uh, cross section, sorry you can't see that. So here we are, here's one, and here's one, and here's one in a cross section as well. And uh, it's quite rich in the thing. So, and uh, the matrix of the rock is a uh, carbonatitic, and uh, it's only about 10 15% of matrix there. There's a few floating xenocrystals as well. But this diatreme fill is, uh, is very intriguing. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's reminiscent of kimberlite diatremes. And uh, there's also been speculations about some of this material potentially containing diamonds. And there has been uh, exploration for diamonds in the area. And uh, let, me, let me get this in focus, please. And there has been diamond exploration in the area, but it wasn't particularly successful so far. But just to show you, here's more of these lapilli. Some of them have coatings. Uh, this one, I think, looks a bit like it has a coating. These would then be accretionary lapilli. So, as you probably know, carbonatites have very high rare earth contents. Alkali basalt have also elevated rare earth contents. And uh, there's discussion that some of these rock in Alner may become a future rare earth resource. But it's also a nature reserve. It's rather beautiful there. So, uh, how the conflict between our economic interests and our recreational interests will go about, we will have to see in the future. So, anyway. I'd like to kind of close here and uh, give you a last frontal look on my cell share Brexia. And uh, here, yes, it's uh, getting sharp. So I'd like to say thank you for your attention. And uh, hopefully this has been useful. And uh, please, if you like that, join me again. All the best.
Tak, hej då.